Hi, this is Matt Caton with the Brain Technologies, and I'd like to share with you today some quick and easy ways to customize your personal brain. Personal brain is always going to be made up of information that is unique to you, so why not have the background and color scheme reflect those unique qualities? First, I'd like to show you some of the themes that we have available. If you simply go up to Options, you can scroll down to see that we have several themes available for you to choose from. The default is simply called Dark Blue. Let's go ahead and switch over to Lightstream. This adds a little bit of flair to your personal brain. Now let's switch to LA Sunset. Again, a new wallpaper and color scheme that changes the unique quality of this particular personal brain. But don't feel that you have to choose from one of our own existing themes. You can actually design your own. Let's pick our own wallpaper. I'll simply go up to Options again and select Select Wallpaper. I'll browse to where I have some family pictures and unique wallpapers that I use even on my desktop and choose something that is unique and fits my own personality. As you can see, this wallpaper definitely reflects the unique properties of this particular brain. But let's say I'd like a more professional appearance to this particular brain file. I'll show you another way that you can actually bring wallpapers into the brain. For this, I'm going to actually navigate out to some wallpapers that I have and open one in a browser window. I'll simply right click on the JPEG file. JPEGs and .gif files seem to work best and open this in my default browser. You can also use this method when you find images online that you'd like to use right away in your personal brain backgrounds. I'll simply right click and select copy. Now back to personal brain where I right click on the background and select paste wallpaper. This definitely has a much more professional feel. But as you can see, I'm having a little bit of trouble seeing the links. I'd really like those links to be able to stand out so I can see the relationships between thoughts. Let's customize this just a little further. I'm going to right click on the background and go into my preferences. You can also get to preferences by going up to options in personal brain. I'll head over to the colors tab. And now I can start defining the individual colors of all the different components that make up personal brain. First, let's take a look at the links. Normal links in light blue blend right in with this particular background. I'd like to really make them stand out. Dark blue could work. Yellow looks good. I think I'll go with purple. Sticking with the purple theme, let's change the colors of the individual gates as well. We'll have normal gates be light purple. Highlighted gates could be dark purple. I'll even change the color of the active thought indicator. And finally, let's change the color of the thoughts themselves. I'll stick with the purple theme, but then change the text shadow so they really stand out. Fantastic. If I want to save this particular theme, I can simply go up to my options and select Save Theme. I guess I'll call this my purple theme. Now, as you can see, I can always go up to Options and select from one of the existing themes, which now includes my purple theme. Another way to give a unique appearance to the personal brains that you're creating is to add thought icons. 
You can see that thought icons can either represent the file type that is associated or attached to that particular thought, or sometimes they're customized, such as images of actual people. They can even be photographs. Let's go over to the sales thought and add an image to this particular thought to make it stand out. I'll simply go up and search the web, and I'll actually search for the word money. I'm specifically doing an image search, so I'll take a look at the image results, and when I find the image I'm looking for, I simply right click, copy, and I'm back to the brain. Right click on the desired thought and select paste thought icon. Now I have this image associated with the sales thought. Again, if I already own the file, I would simply open that file in a web browser to copy that image onto my clipboard and paste it into the thought. This trick can really be used to your advantage. For this example, I've got a PowerPoint presentation. This PowerPoint may actually be 300 megs and would take quite some time to actually launch the application to see if that's the file that I happen to be looking for. Therefore, with the file actually open, I'm simply going to click on Print Screen. Now I'm back to the brain. And on the sales process thought, once again, I'll right click and select Paste Thought Icon. I've actually pasted a screenshot of this particular file. In the future, I won't have to launch PowerPoint to see if that's the actual PowerPoint document that I'm looking for. I can just take a quick glance at the thought icon. I hope you'll use these simple customizing options to add unique characteristics to your own personal brain.